What's up, everybody? This is M Peoples. Now, I need my glasses for this. Now, I don't braid hair, but not too bad, huh? Now, this is a tutorial on how to braid your hair. I'm a righty, so... And I don't have rubber bands to hold this down. But I'm going to take this down to show you guys. Let's see, I got my hair. Hold up. Black girls, you might want to use some ointment, like some coconut oil. You can get this at the dollar store. Or better, use something better than coconut oil. Okay, so just grab the three sections. Looks like early in the morning. Now, ladies, if you have a half black daughter or a daughter who's Native American or Hispanic, but you want to style their hair, get some rubber bands, some ointment for. Black folks. See? Three sections. And it's like jump rope. Get the third one and tie it down. Third one. See how I'm doing it? My mother, when she was alive, she always make us braid hair I sucked at it but now it's not that hard I know my hair is a little messy I'm gonna get my hair done I couldn't since I was a little sick see see how I'm doing this not too bad huh And that's how you braid hair. I'm fixing up my hair. It's a little parched. Now, hold up. I'm going to take my glasses off for this. Now, why I didn't like doing hair? I wasn't so interested in it. Plus, the simplest hairstyle I could do is ponytail and buns. And I'll tell you why I don't use or wear afros all that much. Because they take forever to style. I'm pretty sure you have to maintain that afro. Mine, it's not like big and poofy. It's more like a lazy afro. So I, my hair is kind of parched. And I have eczema. Coconut oil. And coconut oil actually makes your hair grow a little bit. But I'm not some hair guru. But if you want to style your daughter's hair, of course, if you're trying to braid your own hair, you might want to have somebody else do it. It's kind of hard to do it. Plus, my hair isn't actually long enough for pigtails. Hold up, I'll wipe myself off. And plus, don't say I'm a self-hater because I don't like afros. Well, actually, I kind of do. It's just I don't like my afro. Let's 
It looks kind of unkempt. And disheveled. My afro does. I envy the women who can make their afros look so pretty and neat looking. Well, I shed. All right. And don't get me wrong, afro, if you want an afro, do you. Mine looks like unflat iron air dried hair with hair sticking all over the place. I got a hair straightener, hair brush straightener, but it broke on me. I mean, damn. I gotta get more hairspray since my sister keeps using it. It was cheap. This and this and this is all the hair products I have. Oh, and this for a shower cap and deep conditioning. One second. When I say my hair is looking parched, my hair can dry out because of eczema and the heat. So, how, how long have I been? Oh, six minutes. So, I have to wrap up my hair. For those of you who don't know, black girls have to wrap up their hair. Because, one, we're not like white girls who can go to... I don't know how white girls sleep. I'm not being racist. Uh, do you guys wrap up your hair or... I don't know how, but we have chemicals in our hair that keeps our hair parched. Actually, no, wait. I'm sorry. Keeps our hair moist and nice. So, guys, if you judge us by saying you don't like the hair wrap, please tell your man this. Are you going to do my hair? I might try practicing braiding hair for my daughter, my future daughter. And you guys see the bees and clamps? Yeah, I remember the beads and the clamps. Don't get me wrong, I had braids when I was young. Michael braids. Oh. If you have a daughter who's half black, you might want to be careful. Our hair is wired differently. You don't want to have braids too long. Because hair can mold. Especially weave. Anyway, this is how to braid your hair and the thing about black hair. This is M people's deuces.